Hi there, this is the Aquinal vlog and we are out here on the liver yard today and we're gonna be comparing hay nuts and hay pillows, so stick around. So as I mentioned in my previous videos, uh, in nature horses spend 16 to 18 hours a day grazing and therefore their stomachs are designed to always have food stuff in them. This is because if they don't eat, then they are not chewing essentially and there is no saliva production in the mouth which exposes the stomach lining to ulceration as it is exposed to all the digestive acids. Fasting for one to two hours can already induce discomfort in the horse's stomach whereas long-term fasting can seriously compromise welfare. Therefore, we should be aiming to always have our horse's stomachs full, uh, which is fine when they're out on the pasture 24 seven. But for example, in the winter, like the rules here say that uh, your horse has to come in for the winter, for the night, and then he can be out uh, on the field during the day. So how do we achieve that? If we feed from the ground, uh, the horse will eat that hay very quickly and also waste around 20% of it and they will spend the rest of the night eating their bedding, so like straw or even wood shavings, which of course then will lead to the ingestion of parasites. So these are all of the reasons why people have invented the hay nut. Before I say another word, I just want to quickly mention that this video is not sponsored. There are loads of brands out there that produce hay nuts and hay pillows, so choose one that best suits your needs. Um, which reduces wastage, extends feeding time by a long shot and also allows uh, for the hay to be weighed. So ideally a horse should be consuming 1-2% to two of its body weight uh, per day. But while this feeding method has many advantages over feeding from the ground, hay nets have also been identified as a source of frustration for the horse. What's more, forage from hay nets is often pulled with a high level of force that exerts pressure on the head joint, teeth and neck. This is especially true if they are tied above the horse's shoulder level. Plus, horses have a higher tendency to develop a hollow neck and rigid back posture when fed this way over a long period of time. Luckily, we can avoid most of those issues using a slow feeder. Um, this was designed to further extend feeding time and also reduce the occurrence of stereotypies. A 2018 study demonstrated that slow feeders better distribute feeding throughout the day and when filled up for the night, horses still had hay left in the morning. They also recorded that horses spent less time eating straw from their bedding and were also friendlier towards the handlers. Unfortunately, fancy slow feeders like this cost around £150 or just under $200, so I had to look for a cheaper option. I found these hay pillows on eBay that do pretty much the same thing. I wasn't sure about how much abuse they would take, so I got two for around £21 each, just in case they will need repairing. I gotta say, I'm quite pleased with the product. They look like they're gonna take a good amount of hay as well. So let's head out and test one. Hmm, that's a very narrow feeding hole. Might be a bit time consuming to fill these up properly, but it's gonna be worth it. Good boy. Let's go in there. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Let's see what Dream makes of this whole hay pillow thing. Come on. There you go. Come on. Someone's impatient. He's not faced by it at all. What's that? Hmm? What's that? <laughs> uh, he's like, I want my hay now. Okay, well, he's definitely taken to it in no time. 
Uh, please don't destroy it on the first night. So, I guess I'll leave you to it then, and we'll see how things are in the morning. Good night, dream! And here we are, 7.21 in the morning. Let's go and see how this worked out, shall we? Moment of truth! <laughs> Oh, hello. Hello. Oh. Well, that's a bit worrying. The bag is still quite heavy as well. What's wrong, boy? Maybe you need to wrap your head around it a little. So, I'm hoping that pulling the hay through like this will give him an incentive to start exploring it more. We'll see. Now well, that looks a bit better already. Well done, dream. Looking good. Well done, good boy. Oh, I'm so chuffed you won't have to strain your neck anymore. So yeah, everything's been really great so far, but I was quite curious what would happen if I put uh, up a hay net and a slow feeder as well in his stable? Like which one would he prefer and uh, which one would have less hay in it in the morning? Previously he's only been fed from a hay net when stabled, so it will be interesting to see which one he sticks with more. So much food. Looks like the heinous has taken the lead. Ugh, I struggle to even watch him eating from that thing. I can't imagine what it would do to his back over the years. Ugh, go on, dream. Choose the other one. Okay, the hay is definitely heavier. I guess it was quite likely that he was gonna eat from both of them over the night, especially that he's only had the hay pillow for one week, so with that in mind, I think he's done quite well. So yeah, that was a really exciting experiment, but regardless of outcome, I think I'm gonna stick with the slow feeder, just because of all the benefits it has. Thanks so much for watching everyone, uh, I hope it's been interesting for you and you learned something new today. My next video is going to be about how I train my horse to accept the whip. So if you don't want to miss it, then make sure you subscribe and I'll see you there. Right smart guys!